In this video I'm going to take a look at the signed magnitude format that can be used to represent positive and negative numbers. Consider a nibble which we can say is stored in four flip-flops as you can see here. Now if you ask yourself how many different numbers can we store in a nibble, well we can go from the value you see here, which in fact is zero in our number system, and it'll go straight through to this combination that's appearing now where all of the positions are a one. And all of the combinations in between where they're all zeros and all ones, we need to consider and we can ask the question, well how many combinations are possible and the answer is you take 2 and you raise it to n where n are the number of flip-flops as demonstrated here and we know there are four of them so 2 to the power 4 equals 16 what's the range that can be represented by a nibble well we can see we go from 0 all the way up to 15 now a formal way of showing that is what you can see here we say the range goes from 0 to 2 to the n minus 1 where n are the number of bits we're dealing with which clearly is 4 so we know the range goes from 0 to 2 to the 4 minus 1 now 2 to the 4 is 16 you subtract 1 and you get 15 so you can see here that the range is from 0 to 15 so we have when we have a nibble as shown here 0 all the way up to 15 and in this gap obviously I could show all of the other combinations but it will be too big for one slide but you have to imagine that you've got all the other possible combinations combinations the next one after this will be one then it will be two then it will be three the one before this would represent 14 and so on let's consider a number line and let's mark it off as you see here i'm going from 0 to 15 and let's have a look at the nibbles the binary nibbles that can represent all of the values that you can see on this number line we start off with the zero and then you can see the other nibbles appearing representing the values that are in our number system so for example 15 with a nibble is this value here when you have four ones if I choose 4, the nibble representing 4 is this one here, and you can see there is a nibble representation for everything from 0 through to 15. Now it's clear that these nibbles are representing positive integers, and in this case from 0 to 15. They don't represent any fractional bit, but something else they do not represent, they do not represent negative numbers. So can the nibble represent minus 7? Well, not in the way in which we're looking at them here, but it is possible to represent negative values using binary, and that's really what this video is about, looking at it's something referred to as sign magnitude and how we can use that to represent negative numbers within a computer system. Sign magnitude can be used to represent positive and negative binary numbers. This is where we have a zero representing positive and we have a one representing negative. And let's have a look at some examples of this. Let's consider this example. And if you look to where I've shaded the background as yellow, that is the sign bit. And because it is a zero, it represents positive. If we have a look at the remaining three bits, that's the magnitude. And if you consider the magnitude, this is in the twos position. These are zero, so there's no ones and there's no fours. So the magnitude is two. Consequently, this nibble is equal to plus two. It represents plus two in binary, in signed magnitude format. Let's consider this example, and we can see here that the sign bit is positive, and these three bits, well, they represent the magnitude, which we can see is actually six. So when we consider what this nibble represents, it represents positive six. Consider this example. We know that this is the sign bit, which is positive, And if we look here, we have the magnitude, which is 7. So the nibble you're looking at represents positive 7. Let's consider this example. And if you look to the sign bit, it's a 1. Consequently, that represents negative. If we look at the other three bits, that's the magnitude, which is 2. So the nibble you're looking at represents negative minus 2. 
Consider this example, the sine bit is 1, therefore it is negative. If we look at the magnitude, that's 6. Consequently, the nibble you're looking at represents minus 6, negative 6. Let's consider one more example. We can see that the sine bit represents negative, And if we have a look at the remaining three bits, that's the magnitude, and they represent 7. Consequently, the nibble you're looking at is negative 7. So if we consider signed magnitude for a nibble, what we have, we have a format where each of the bits in the nibble represent something. And we know that we're going to have this representing the sign bit. And the remaining three bits in this case, when combined together, represents the magnitude. So it's referred to as sign magnitude representation. And I'm showing it for a nibble here, but this equally applies to a byte, which is 8 bits, 16 bits, 32 bits. You can have sign magnitude for differing sizes of binary. And they all have the same thing in common. They will have a sign bit where the zero in the sign bit position represents positive and the one in the sign bit position represents negative. In front of you on this slide, you can see that I have all of the combinations where the sign bit is a zero. In other words, where the sign bit represents positive. So if I highlight this using the yellow, you can see that what you have in front of you are positive values where the sign is positive. If we look to the first one, this is plus zero. If we look at the next one, that's plus one. And if we continue, we can see we go from plus zero to plus seven. On this slide, you can see we have the rest of the nibble values that are possible. And if you consider the significant position of all of them, where the sign bit is, as highlighted in yellow, we can see that all of these represent negative values. If we look at the first one, we know that that is minus zero because this is the sign, meaning negative. All these are zero. Consequently, this will be zero. If we go to the next one, we know that this is minus one. If we look at the next one, it's minus 2. And if we continue, we can see we go as far as the last one, where this means negative, and the magnitude here is 7. So we have minus 7. Let's consider all the combination of patterns possible with a nibble. We can see this first one is where this is positive. The magnitude is 0, so you can see this is positive 0. Let's continue now with all of the possible combinations when the sign bit is a zero, and they're shown here. And you can see it goes from one all the way through to seven. So we can see that this lot gives us from zero to seven. Let's continue now when the sign bit is a one. This is the first example where this is negative. This magnitude represents zero. So we can see that this represents minus zero. Continuing, we can look at the other possible combinations, and we can see that this last one gives us minus seven. This gives us positive zero, and this gives us negative zero. Now, you may be saying, well, what does that mean? Can you have a positive? Can you have a negative zero? Well, I'll let you worry about the mathematics associated with that. In terms of computing systems, what we have, we have for plus one this code, we have for minus one this code, and if you look at these two codes, you can see the difference. But there are two representations for zero. Now, this can cause us a problem when we're designing the hardware associated with arithmetic and logic units, for example. Let's consider the number line shown here, and I'll mark off zero. Now, we know we can go up to plus seven, and we know we can go to minus seven when we're using a nibble to represent positive and negative numbers. If we consider what a nibble looks like for zero, we know when they're all zeros. But we've also just seen that we also have this code here representing zero. 
If we look at all of the positive codes, we can see those appearing now. So from 1 through to 7, there is a code that represents it uniquely. For example, plus 7 will always be this code if we're dealing with sign magnitude as the format for our computer systems. If we look at minus 1 through to minus 7, we know these are the codes. And if I just choose this one at random, minus 6, this is the value in the nibble that represents minus 6. But the issue we have here is with the 0. You see there are two codes to represent it. These are the two codes, when we use sign magnitude format, that represent 0. Now, it doesn't make any sense to have a zero represented by two codes. You really need a unique code to represent a value. And we've seen plus 7 has a unique code, minus 7 has a unique code, but the zero has two codes. And of course, if you are going to use an arithmetic and logic unit, you want the answer that comes out of that when you perform an addition, for example, to give you a code. And that code, you only want it to have one representation, i.e. if the result is six, you want the code for six, plus six. If the answer is minus five, you want the code for minus five. If the answer is zero, you don't want the situation where you're going to get one of these codes, you only want there to be a unique code. So when we consider signed format representation, you have to realize having two representations for zero is an issue for arithmetic and logic unit architecture design. In other words, the electronics that does all of the adding up. You don't want two codes representing the same value. An unsigned binary nibble gives us 16 possible combinations going from 0 to 15, where the range is from 0 to 15, and that in total is 16 combinations. And for these, we can have the various codes, as you can see here. These are all nibbles representing the codes for 0 through to 15. Of course, all of the nibbles you're looking at here don't have a sign bit because we're dealing with unsigned binary. And therefore, all of the numbers you're looking at are regarded as being positive. They have no sign bit in their code representation, so they represent from 0 all the way up to plus 15. Let's have a look at the number line for signed nibbles sign magnitude nibbles and the number line is as it appears here you can see i've marked off a zero and i know that the positive values can go from plus one to plus seven and that the negative values can go from minus one to minus seven and if you come here you can see we go from zero to fifteen now that's sixteen possible numbers whereas if you come here you can see the number line goes from minus seven to plus seven and that's fifteen possible numbers Numbers, one less than this. Now the reason this number line has one less is that the zero can be represented by this nibble and this nibble. So we have two nibbles to represent the zero. That's the reason for the reduction of the number of possible values that can appear on this number line. If we now consider the codes for the positive values, you can see them appearing now. And here you can see the negative values being represented by a nibble. And you can observe the sign bits for the positive and the sign bits for the negative. But if you look to the zero, you can see there are two codes representing it. Please consider subscribing to the channel and click the bell to ensure you get an update every time I upload a video. Maybe you would like to consider supporting the development of these free videos via Patreon. In addition, why not follow me on Twitter and also check out the supporting website.